Okay, more products. 5x cubed minus x I'm fairly happy with. 1 over 2 root x is the same as 1 half, that's the coefficient, and then we have x to the minus because it's in the denominator, and 1 half because it's square rooted. So, the derivative, dy dx, should be first d second minus a half times a half is minus a quarter x to the minus three over two so that's first d second plus second that's one half x to the minus one half d first, and the f that would be 15x squared okay so first part derivative of the second part second part derivative of the first part now we multiply everything out and see if we can collect terms or anything like that 5x cubed times minus 1 fourth is minus 5 over 4 x to the 3 times minus 1 and a half is 1 and a half. Then we get minus x times minus 1 fourth, which is positive 1 fourth. x to the 1 times x to the minus 3 over 2 is x to the minus 1 half. We're adding powers there. Common denominator is 2, so this is like 2 over 2 plus negative 3 over 2 makes negative 1 over 2. Hope you enjoy doing that kind of manipulation because it happens a lot. Then we get 1 half times 15 x to the 3 over 2 and finally 1 half x to the minus half times negative 1 which is just minus 1 half. Okay, so what can we combine here? We have x to the 3 over 2, that occurs twice, we can add those up, but only if they have a common denominator. So to save me having to write all this out again, where this says 15 over 2, I'm just going to double both of those and get 30 over 4. Also, we have two terms containing x to the minus 1 half, we need a common denominator there also, so where this says 1 over 2, I'm just going to change that to 2 over 4. Okay, so now if we add x to the 3 over 2's, we have negative 5 plus 30 fourths makes a total of 25 fourths x to the 3 over 2. And then for x to the minus one half, we have one fourth plus negative two fourths makes negative one fourth x to the minus one half. And I think that's about as nice as we can make that look. Now, can we do it again? This is just a polynomial. This one should be a pushover, although it, I'm not saying it'll go quickly. I'm just saying it won't be all that difficult. df dx x should be first <coughs> d second would be 6x squared minus 1 first d second plus second 2x cubed minus x d first the derivative there is 6x minus 1 First d second plus second d yes okay these were similar enough that it made me worry a little bit that I'd gotten the order out of whack but they just are similar it happens sometimes okay so if we multiply all this out we're gonna get a great many terms 3x squared times 6x squared 3x squared times minus 1 minus x times 6x squared minus x times minus 1 18 times 6x squared 
18 times minus 1. Oh, I went off the edge there. I'm sorry. 108x squared. I'll just move that over. My screen is bigger than what shows in the video, so I missed it at first when I ran off the edge. So, 18 times 6x squared gives 108x squared. 18 times negative 1 gives negative 18. There we go. And now we FOIL these out. 2x cubed times 6x, 12x to the fourth. 2x cubed times minus 1, minus x times 6x, and minus x times minus 1. OK, we collect like terms, and then we're done with this. For x to the fourth, we have 18x to the fourths. Here's 12 more x to the fourths, total of 30 x to the fourth. Any x cubes? Yeah, we have minus 6 there, minus another 2 there, so minus 8 x cubed. Minus 3 x squared, plus 108 makes 105 x squared. And then we lose 6, so we're down to 99x squared. x plus another x. And then our only constant is that minus 18.